and welcome to Library Grindhouse, where the only ticket you need is your library card. I'm Jesse. And I'm Leah, and today we'll be giving you five reasons why to watch the 1994 movie, The Specialist. All right, Leah, but first, why don't you hit him with that spoiler-free plot summary? Ahem. Ray, a former CIA demolition expert turned hitman, gets lured into the arms of May, a woman who is trying to destroy a mob family who killed her parents. What happens when a beautiful woman with a taste for vengeance ensnares the help and love of a covert explosives genius? Watch to find out. Okay, so what's your number five reason to watch the Sly Stallone joint? Well, first of all, you said Sly Stallone, so it just, I need to wave myself off real fast. <laughs> all right, so it's all of the high-end technology that is in this movie. He has sensors for his house, for every single room that can go off, and a computer that shows exactly what entrance it is. The smartest of smart Just, homes. Oh my I mean, goodness. it anticipated a lot. The, the early 90s nailed it, yeah, right? Yeah, the spy tapping, the, the phone tapping, the oh, yeah. different locations. I mean, this is high-end spy gear. I wish I had stuff like this when I was younger. I fell for all of that, the little kid, like, listen in the other room with this wire that goes all the way. Oh, I, yeah. Loved it. It's got like radar, LIDAR, yeah. like detecting <laughs> where people are at all times. I mean, is it pressure plates? Is I it like no sensor idea. data? Like, is it measuring the changes of moisture? I, it has I mean, to like, be like the little uh, things that he puts in order to make things explode because he's a demolition expert. Do those have sensors in them too? Like, is he just a two I, in one? I mean, trip wires and things like that, I guess, but. But I, I don't know. I. I He's yes. a renaissance man. No. A renaissance man. <laughs> and what's your number five? Bomb making sexy talk. Oh. I mean, Sharon Stone is notorious for crossing le her legs. Well, more like not crossing them, but <laughs> she somehow doesn't cross her tongue in knots trying to get around the absolute wild thing she has to say about Sloan shaping his charges. I heard that you control your explosions, that you shape your charges. Yowza! <laughs> I mean, the fact she almost pulls it off should have gotten her an Oscar nomination for this film. She's, she I was mean, actually very good. Like, I, I enjoyed, I enjoyed watching her. I mean, you, I mean, it seems like she can't act in this movie and she's just playing a generic femme fatale like she does in so many of these movies in the true. early 90s. But, I mean, tour de force performance from Sharon Stone. I mean, making, yeah. making me buy that she's actually saying this stuff. Yeah. And like meaning it <laughs> and in meaning some it. way. I'm just, it's just, it's something to behold. <laughs> What's your number four? Number four, I'm a huge animal lover, so the vocal kitty. <laughs> His, this little cat ends up just oh, following. Oh, God, he's a sucker for talking cats, yes. too. Yes. This little cat yeah. just meow, meow, meow. And of course, I mean, if I were a cat, I'd stick to Sly Stallone. Absolutely. He just follows him wherever he needs to go, and all of a sudden he's in the room. And Sly Stallone saves him. Oh, there's about rabies explosives. Don't forget my kitty cat. Boop. He literally <laughs> saves the cat. I didn't he even saves think about it. the cat. He loves his cat. But yeah, Gosh, I wish was, I were that this, cat. This was around the same time as that movie Blank Check, written by the guy who wrote the book Save the Cat. Go figure. Yeah. I've read. So, yep. That's all you got on the talking cat. Ta yep, the cat. I'm the a sucker for a talking cat. I totally, I should have been on there. <laughs> What's your number four, Jesse? Sylvester Sloan and Sharon Stone. I mean, this movie was at such an interesting time in their careers. I mean, Sloan is very much in his I'm sexy uh, phase where he had to be as naked as possible, like Frozen in the Cube and Demolition Man, anyone? <laughs> he also had recent hits like Cliffhanger and Demolition to extent, at least in retrospect. I think that's more of a cult classic hit later, but... And huge misses like Oscar, which I have love for, and we may cover soon. Um, and Stop My Mom Will Shoot, which, oh my mm. gosh, that movie. Um, this one felt like he was pretty much done. Like, Stone was coming off. I mean, it just felt like it was kind of the end of an era for him. Like, he had, like, Demolition Man, Cliffhanger, but he actually still had more hits he under had, his belt for later yes. in the 90s, which I was kind of surprised by when I looked at his filmography. But it just seemed like this was like, yep, see a Stallone. <laughs> and this actually was a hit. Um, and then Stone is coming off of Total Recall, Basic Instinct, Sliver, and she still couldn't shake being the sex pot femme fatale you can't trust. Um, she did it well, but I kind of feel bad for her. I yeah. mean, she, I feel like she had to kind of embarrass herself and like really put herself in compromising situations. I feel like she just fell into that role where she did it She did it well once and all of a sudden it's, it's stuck, <sighs> you know? I mean, she I, does I, have that look. She's very beautiful, but she has that look where it's like you're hiding something. You, yeah. know, you know, like no, I get that's... it. I mean, kind of a Veronica Lake or something yeah. kind of situation where she just 
She's able to, yeah. She's able to pull it off in a way that's believable, which a lot of actresses can't do in certain femme fatale roles. Like, like yeah. she was literally a, what, a double crossing, double agent. Like, she is able to maneuver all of that. She, she is. I mean, she, and she's a very smart woman, so that, that helps. That I mean, yeah. And so she's playing someone who's kind of smart in everyone in the room. I just didn't always get that idea in this movie that she was smarter than everyone in the room. Like, that's the part of the issue, and she kind of wasn't. I, I thought that she was. I thought that she did a very good job at just, you know, she let people do whatever to her, which is, you know, nowadays it's very like, yeah, I wouldn't want somebody, like, smacking my bottom and then her just kind of smiling and knowing that's the person oh. who killed her family when she just, just kind of has so to, like, gross. I, I just, like I, work with it. It's hard to watch that, I guess. It I is, it is I, hard to watch, but at the same time, it's just, like, she has the drive and the motivation to where it's like, you can do this now, but I'm going to kill you. <laughs> like, it's one of those things. I, I get it. All right. So, All right. Fair. Fair. All right. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, this movie won't be a movie without them, I guess. It's true. And All right, Leah, what's your number three? So my number three is... I always call them, and yes, it, it's not only because Sly Stallone is in this, but it's the Rocky montage. It's not really Rocky, but it's him, his workout montage, and he even adds some, like, Tai Chi in there. Why does a demolition expert need some Tai Chi? I don't know, but he does. He was all CIA. Maybe, you know, he trained, but it's just the prepping before a big fight, music's pumping, Sly alone shirtless and all oiled up. Again, it's the I'm a very sexy man. <laughs> it's I'm great. very sexy man. They I should mean, just play, um, what is it? Right said Fred. Right said Fred over the entire, I couldn't think, I was saying Fred. I mean, and I was like, I, I can do that. I'm too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy for my shirt. So sexy it hurts. I mean, <laughs> the Tai Chi surprised me. I'm like, wow, he's got a little bit of flexibility. No, he and definitely almost does. Almost a little bit of grace there. I was like, okay, cool. Like, yeah. Because, you know, when you're that muscled up, sometimes you can lose that flexibility and not necessarily have that kind of coordination. I mean, bodybuilders have to have that to a degree. I mean, I think I, I, when I read Schwarzenegger's autobiography, he talks about, like, doing some training along those lines for, like, balance. And well, and it helps like your, your and, tendons and your ligaments not fully just, like... But, but balance, like, have the poses, to be able oh, to pose yeah. and, like, to do all that stuff, um, yeah. to have the balance and the poise, to be able to move from one pose to another. I mean, it is literally a dance. And to not pass out while you're trying to keep your... Yeah, I mean, everything you have to do, inflated. like, the breathing control, everything else mm -hmm. you have to do, there's so many more disciplines that go into bodybuilding, but sometimes people just bust out the, yeah. the big muscles, but... I was impressed by the Tai Chi. I was, I was kind of like, wow, dude. Absolutely. You, man. Absolutely. Right. But so, it's just, it's so, it's such a, just Rocky montage. <laughs> That's in every, I, I love I, the All Rocky I can think films. of is I'm a very six man. But yeah, it's, it's very, just, just yeah, true. I just, it's all I can, I just, you know, you got it, you got to have it. <laughs> anyway. So anyway, um, my number three, the explosions. I mean, no CGI, just good, old fashioned, blowing stuff up real good. So if you are a sucker for like an 80s, just giant gas fireball yeah. explosions really happening, the specialist. Yep, this is I the mean, movie I mean, it's a bomb-making expert thing, and yeah, it, it's done pretty well. Yeah, what happens when you have a bomb-making expert and it's an action movie? You blow stuff up. Like, yeah. it's perfect. Absolutely. <laughs> it's like Diary of the Vengeance. I love that movie, but like with all the bomb stuff... There was not enough like great bomb explosions in that movie. And part of it is they're filming in New York City. You can't really do it. But like this one, if you felt like you didn't get enough bomb action in, in that movie for mid-90s movie, this one, it's good for the bombs. Absolutely. For sure. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. my number two is Sylvester Stallone's heroism. Heroism? Heroism. Heroism? 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 Heroism. Heroism. Sylvester Stallone's heroism. Heroinism. Like, heroinism. <laughs> I was like, well, that's not right, Leah. <laughs> Whoop. Um, it's just Sylvester Stallone being Sylvester Stallone coming in to save the day with all of his expertise and every little thing imaginable. Here, why don't you take my seat? He can blow stuff up. He can do his spy equipment. He is a sexy, sexy man that is able to swim, to able man. to swoon every like <laughs> woman in the room. It's just perfect. And somehow, I don't know how, but like he goes undercover. Nobody really notices him, you know, like while he's while he's watching, while he's getting all of it. I would notice you, Sylvester Stallone, 
90 Sylvester Stallone, I would have noticed you. Well, the dude's like a hacker too, like with yeah. all his like phone equipment. Like he goes into like a pay phone. He's got like this thing he plugs into and it that's to what like I mean. like make the, it so he can't be traced. I'm like, is there anything the... this man can't do? <laughs> like I, uh... I kept on, I kept on forgetting that he was a part of the CIA. Like he was a CIA demolition expert, even though that's barely you talked about. Can't tell me that everyone at CIA no. is like this type of Renaissance. I know, person. but Sylvester like, usually, Stallone is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't. I don't, don't destroy my dream, Jesse. Buy it, Leah. And I, I don't know. I, mm, I don't know. I don't buy his motivations too. Like he's he's way too. He's weak in the wrong ways. Well, he's a hitman, so he's not a very good man after he leaves the, fact, the CIA. The way he melts for Sharon Stone is just he, weird to me. He melts the perfect part though. He melts for her voice first, and not her looks. He's he immediately spying on her. Her though. voice. He's immediately spying oh, on her. Oh, maybe, but not. He, not. He's a creepster. He's the best kind of creepster, though. <laughs> Sylvester Stallone in the 90s. The best kind of creepster. <laughs> Put that on the tombstone. <laughs> No, but he falls in love with her voice and then he watches her and then, like, he does not like people messing with his lady. Like, he's just. He is Sylvester Stallone. Falling in love with the voice. I don't know, Leah. I don't oh, I love. I think I'm very attracted to voices. I think so. I. Mm. I think I think a person's voice definitely has some sort of way in that department. I mean, not always. I'm I not guess, but that, I mean, but... like Stephen Tobolowsky. I mean, poor guy. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, there are some voices where it's just like I get Gilbert Gottfried, where it's just like, oh, that's dude, true. How does anyone put up with listening to you for more than ten minutes? <laughs> you know, it's just like. <laughs> but, I, but still. But otherwise, it's like as long as your voice isn't like horrifically offensive. I mean. But some people have like really good voices. You know what I mean? Sure. And I think absolutely. Sharon Stone definitely has a very good they, voice. She she does she does. I need to listen to her audiobook memoir to see if I, I want to hang out with her voice for 10 hours, but or however long her audiobook is. But it's just one of those things where, in this movie, yes, she does have a very good, she has a very good voice. pillowy, kind of like a little bit husky, yeah. uh, femme fatale voice. That's, that's the whole, yeah, and he falls in love with it, and he will stop at nothing. To help to her out. To watch her every chance that he gets. Because he knows that she's that she's double crossing people. She knows she's playing with fire and he wants to be there to help her out once something bad happens. Yeah, but he crosses the line. Yeah, but you do that sometimes when you're in love. Mm. It's Sylvester Stallone. You'll never win this argument with me, Jesse. He is always perfect. Have you seen <laughs> Stop or My Mom Will Shoot? No, I haven't. I haven't. Okay, don't. But he, I mean, don't ruin, like, ruin okay, him for don't. you. Like, I mean... <laughs> I mean, I don't know. There's just he's made a lot of garbage, Leah. Yeah, but still, I mean, I can. Over the top, his arm wrestling movie. I'm fine with that. I've have seen you, that. I have I've not seen that. Seen it. I'm fine with all of it. Rhinestone. I've definitely seen that. I haven't seen Rhinestone. Where he sings? No. I think does he, he sing? I mean, it's Do Dolly Parton. So See, I think. I'm fine with that. He is just an all around great guy, a singer, an arm wrestler, a demolition man, a, failed, a fighter. A tour. Yeah. <laughs> Well, he, he doesn't. He doesn't fail. Oh, I thought you were talking about the Rocky movies. I was like, Adrian's never failed. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that. But yeah. Cool. What's your number two, Jesse? Turn the beat around. This tremendous Gloria Stefan cover remains a total bop, as the kids. <laughs> Don't say anymore because I just said it. And this movie needs to worship at its feet because this film does not deserve this song. I love how your second is the song. It's turn the beat around. I mean, it's the vibe the movie leaves you with as they drive away in the convertible. For some reason, I just see you. And Gloria Stefan just burning it up. I just see you at the end of this movie, like, finally, <laughs> like, dancing around. Gloria Stefan's music pure heat I all mean, right come all right. on no, when she's no, in her I prime agree. when she's on she's on she definitely has music I mean, that rhythm makes is you gonna move. get you Leah yeah it makes rhythm you move. Is, I mean everyone wants to do that conga I mean <gasps> mm. I mean when Gloria Stefan when she brings it I mean this she brought it oh she she definitely I mean, does she brought it she definitely does and this movie did not deserve it <laughs> I thought it deserved it 
I did a lot of clock watching, Leah. Oh, my goodness In gracious. An action movie, you shouldn't be doing that. Well, you know what? My number one reason is because I said so. I think everyone should watch this movie. I thoroughly I, enjoyed it. I think you should watch it because I said so, <laughs> but I'm going to give it to you, Leah. You need to give this one to me. It's Sylvester Stallone. You need to watch it, everyone. Just watch it. He is at... I mean, he's not necessarily at his prime, but he's kind of at his prime. I mean, really, his prime I mean, lasted, what, throughout all of the 90s, I would say? Sly? Yeah. Oh, I mean, Sly, I mean, Rocky, and Rocky 3, like, Rocky 2 kind well, of that, was like a... a what? But, Rocky 2 is a lot of people's favorites. I, I, I remember liking Rocky 2 better than I thought, because no one talks about Rocky 2. I mean, it's No a, one talks about Rocky 2. It's Rocky. Apollo. I mean, Rocky 3, then all of a sudden it's like... The twists, and then it's like Mr. T, and it's like I mean that, and Hulk Hogan's in there, and it's yeah. just like this. That movie's crazy, and then Rocky Four with Drago, and yeah. like all the twists and everything, and it's just like nuts. And then Rocky Five was the huge flop. Then he tried to do comedies because well, Schwarzenegger's being in comedies, I can be in comedies, so I'm gonna do Oscar, and that flopped. And then he did Star Wars Shoot, in which Arnold Schwarzenegger was like, he pretended to have interest because yeah. basically he knew that like they had this rivalry going on, and so, so if he was like. I told, like put out into that Schwarzenegger was interested in the Stavro and Mamal shoot script because he knew Stallone would snap it up. Ah, uh, and, and he so knew it was he, gonna be bad. Because he was like, if Arnold's gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. And he knew it was a total stinker. And it, I just I love I love that he got trolled so hard like <laughs> that. Shouldn't. It was amazing. But he's such a nice guy <laughs> in my mind. I was like, in your mind. <laughs> I'm hoping he's a decent dude. Like I, all these people, I, I hope overall, on the whole, they're decent folks. You know, I have heard that Sylvester Stallone's a nice guy. Like I heard that he he doesn't brush you off, he doesn't necessarily like engage with you, but he, he will can't. be like, I mean, oh you hi, don't have time. yeah. And he, won't, but he won't just like flip you off or just totally ignore yeah, you. Yeah, like, I heard that he's actually a very genuine guy, which is great. And so, and he's and he's a smarter dude than anyone has any right, you know, yeah. to credit for. Like he like he talks about like I'm, I'm almost did an interview of him and like said like what he did was like he would before Rocky and stuff, he would basically like look at a movie scene and he was like, I think I could rewrite that better. And he would basically get practice screenwriting by like rewriting scenes See? that he thought he could do better. And I was like, that's pretty cool exercise. And I like that, I should try it sometime. He and created Rocky. Like I, a lot of people don't I mean, that movie was at the that. right place at the right it time. It was, but it was beautiful. Like it's still, I, I didn't even watch it back in the day. I literally watched Rocky for the first time, all of them, including the Creed movies, well, seen those. Five, five or four years ago, and it's immediately in my top five favorite movies. I love Rocky, the first Rocky. I mean, I love all the Rocky films, but like the first Rocky mm. is beautiful. It hits like every single thing that you could ask for in a movie. It's just, uh, I could go on. I just, yeah. Cool. I was Adrian for Halloween this past year. <laughs> that tells you anything. So yeah. Nice. Yeah, I I need to rewatch it. Um, I've been meaning to do it, but. Yeah, I'll let you have this one. I, I I love Demolition Man. I'll always love Demolition Man and Cliffhanger. That that one-two punch is just... And I love Oscar. Yeah. So I think we should cover Oscar. I agree. I agree. Cool. Well, <laughs> those are reasons to check out The Specialist. So head on over to Hoopla to check it out for yourself. For Library Grand House, I'm Jesse. And I'm Leah. And we'll see you next week. Bye.